coffee. So I normally make two. The um, reason I make two is then I don't have to stop during the day to have coffee. So uh, it just makes it easier on me. Uh, these little mugs of mine are pretty awesome when it comes to keeping stuff warm. So I just use that instead. Instead of a Stanley mug, I can't justify the price. These guys. And they fit in my uh, cup holders. No other mugs really fit. New day. We are heading to Milosi today. 100 and something Ks, I think maybe 90, I'm not really sure. We'll see when we get in the car. Hopeful to see a lot more game down that side. Kalahari's been good. Let's just get the cars packed and we'll be on our way, finally. We left Puff Adder Alley, uh, Bape. We found five separate snakes last night. Um, they were just everywhere you looked, there was a bloody Puff Adder. Um, kept having to move them out of the camp so we didn't end up standing on them. It was 96 Ks to, to Malosi. Uh, we now got 67 to go. The sand track is extremely thick today. Uh, really, really thick. Um, my fuel. 115 k is done on this tank, and I'm just about half a tank down. And my fuel is uh, moving rather quickly. Mine's also disappearing quickly. Yeah, I think we're all in the same boat, eh? The sand is heavy, heavy going, dude. I'm losing fuel here quickly. Eventful day, kind of sat chilled and relaxed. Um, going in a little bit of a drive now to the waterhole, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. We'll see what we see, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just nice to be back in Kutsi again.
bit of an early morning game drive. Um, I'm the only one up in camp. So I decided might as well come to the waterhole and see if I can find anything. Um, I'm hoping so. It's been a very quiet night in terms of lions roaring or anything really. There was barking geckos and that's about it. Um, still these lions elude us in the Kalahari. But that's the luck of the draw, I guess. Come to the Kalahari and not see a thing. Pretty cool so far. I'm watching four kudu. Then all of a sudden, four more kudu come out the bush. So, four females and four males came out the bush. Okay, so I just bumped into um, the leopard and lion research in Kutsi. And he told me now that we should be moving down to Kutsi because there's a lot of lion activity in Kutsi. Apparently a lot of cheetah activity as well. Yeah, I'm heading back to camp. I'm going to get the guys to pack up and we're going to go from there. So I think that's probably the wisest decision for today. And we we'll spend two nights in Kutsi and hopefully see some lions. So, there we go. making the shift down to Kutsi. Hopefully we get to see the lions now. Yellow like a chicken. Day 10, um, second last day, uh, we're at Kutsi camps. Um, I almost left this morning because of the whole corona issue, they're closing borders and stuff, so I was going to go ahead and see if I could find an open border for us. Um, but thankfully, uh, guys convinced me, no, I must stay, we'll deal with that when we get to it, and rather just phone them from the sat phone, which we did. So the one we wanted to use is open, which 
no longer makes it an issue. But this camp I have not showed you. This is uh, Kutsi number one. We had lions roaring there last night. Sound quality is not great. I did try and record them. I'll put in a, a different mic on today or for tonight. Um, then went out this morning and found tracks. This is the result of those tracks. Finally, I found tracks. Check this out. Oh, easy. Tracks to follow. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look. Tracks are a pleasure. Guys, that was easy. Um, lions are where we found the cheetah yesterday. There's four cubs. female four really 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 tiny cubs
Pretty cool, right? Oh, I know. Finally, 10 days in the central Kalahari and you don't spot any lions. So where we sit now, everybody's literally hiding from the sun. There's Chris, he's hiding from the sun under his sombrero. Ed, hiding from the sun after fighting his water. It is hot. There's Ryan. Not hot here, in the shade, loving life, perfect. It's Ryan from 4x4 Adventures. Adventures, don't forget that. That's got a D in it, remember guys. See, let me, let me show you on his shirt. Check there. It's a bit grubby. 4x4 Adventures. <laughs> and um, we're all trying to pack up camp and there's a lion just there and he's roaring just letting us know he's here but at least we know where he is um, I'll try and get the, the roar as soon as um, he starts again seems every time I pick up the camera he knows Back in my home in Cape Town, sunny South Africa, under lockdown, currently a few weeks after our trip. Trip was absolutely, absolutely incredible. It was one of those trips that will sit in the memory banks forever. Total distance for me, uh, around 5,700 Ks. Just to the guys I traveled with, Ryan from 4x4 Ventures. Yes guys, Ventures, not Adventures, like I said in the video, we were just taking a bit of a dig. Ryan, mate, it was an absolute pleasure traveling with you. Looking forward to doing it again. Ed from Edward Bath Overlanding, you as well. Absolute pleasure to travel with and we'll do it again in a heartbeat. Chris, same goes for you. Absolute pleasure to travel with. We'll definitely do it again in a heartbeat. The three of you collectively are what we call legends. Thanks, gents. Signing off. Hope you enjoyed the series. As always, like and subscribe and hit that bell icon.